Hey, this is Greg Peckman with the Beckman team at Hancock Mortgage here. Just want to give you guys a quick tip here. First and foremost, thanks everybody for your thoughts and prayers. The leg is getting better. The next project on the leg is the knee. I see orthopedic on the 21st of December, so we'll see this. But there's something definitely wrong in there. It swells up like a balloon every time I stand up. So anyway, thank you for your thoughts and prayers. We're getting there little by little. Um, the, the wound vac helped. Skin graft looks like it, it took, so I'm going to see them tomorrow. Um, and hopefully I don't have to wear a bandage around it anymore because it's itching like crazy and all that fun stuff. So having said that, that's not the point why I'm doing this. I just want to thank everybody for that. Um, but if you're having trouble paying your mortgage, this is much different than it was 13 years ago. 13 years ago, people had no equity in their houses when the market started tanking. Different ball game right now. We, we are about uh, four to five million homes short right now short as far as being built okay because of inventory right now um so it's gonna that's gonna take about six to eight years to kind of flush that out all right i told you to stop before for each decade from 80 to 90 90 to 2000 2000 2010 there's about 25 homes being built in those decades from 2010 to 2020 uh there was only seven million okay but here's the best option okay here's something that you have now if you're you know if you're having trouble if you lost your job uh, whether it's because of COVID, whether it's, you know, uh, employer just, just wants a cut before the holidays, who knows, okay? If you can't make a mortgage payment and you have to, and you think you have to foreclose on the house, don't. List the house and sell it. I guarantee you, well, I shouldn't say guarantee you because I don't know what you've done with a mortgage or if you have a first and second, but if you uh, sell that house and list that house and sell it, at least you can grab that equity out of the house and put it in your pocket and not go into foreclosure and really put yourself in the buying, not just short term, but very long term as well. Don't let it go into foreclosure when you have equity in there, because then you can't uh, you can't do anything with the equity. It's gone. So there's a great chance, you know, talk to a good realtor, see what they can do with a CMA, a comparable market analysis, what you can list your property for. If you can't make the payment for some reason and, you know, employment and it's tough out there, I get it. Uh, definitely look at listing your house with a good realtor. Uh, any questions on that, just, just shoot me a, a message down below. I can refer you to some good people that we work with. Uh, but you know, list your house, sell it, grab the equity before you go into foreclosure. This is much different and much better opportunity than you had about 13 years ago when we had the crash, when nobody had any equity, it seemed like overnight and it got worse and worse and worse each year. So much different thing. Uh, these days, you know, I was thinking about it last time I was talking, talking to a good friend of mine and, um, you know, they were just saying, hey, listen, most people don't understand that. Most people don't get that, um, that, that they have equity in their house and, and they could just sell it if they can't make the mortgage payment. They just think if they can't make the mortgage payment, automatically it's going to be a foreclosure. It's not the case. You know, list your house, sell it, you know, sell it. It's going to sell pretty quick because there's hardly any homes out there. Grab the equity, go find a place to try to rent for a bit, recoup a little bit. And, and, and you, know, you know, start taking the next steps forward. And, and writing's tough too, I get that, but at least you can grab that money and then you know, have some cushion you know, so you can you know, basically start taking the next steps for you and your family. So hopefully that helps. Let me know if you have any questions on that. Uh, shoot me a comment down below, shoot me a private message on Facebook or text me at 423-262-9229. Have a great day.